So today I'm going to show you how to use Blogging Ninja to create some content for a little fake company that I made up called Totally Tubular Water Park. It's like an 80s themed water park that's in Key West. So let's take a look at what's on the content calendar for Totally Tubular Water Park right now. And this is the current month. Here's today. And we can see the next two weeks have nothing scheduled. So let's go back and we'll fill the next couple of weeks with some content. So the first thing that you're going to do when you're looking for an idea is go to the brainstorm board. If you already have a title in mind, you can add an original idea anywhere there's a little plus like this, or you can use the quarterly plans, or there's the it's a date calendar, which is full of date specific special days. And if you kind of have an idea of what you want to write, you can browse the library, And but we'll get into that in a minute. Right now, let's take a look at the idea generator. The idea generator is great because it's going to feed you recommendations based on your profile and answers to just three little questions. So it's going to give you a title topic, which basically doubles as both your title and the topic that you're going to write about. So by just answering who your target audience is, so let's say we're going to do info seekers, what you want them to do, what's your call to action, we want them to learn this time. And what's the benefit that our company gets for giving this info away it would be brand brand awareness. So now that we've answered these three questions, we just click generate ideas and it will take your profile that you set up. That's like 20 questions, it takes you like 20 minutes to set it up. And it gives you an inspiration word cloud based on all of your profile and these answers. So this is the inspiration that you use to fill in your title topics. So these are the customized suggestions that are specifically for totally tubular water park. It'll be different for each company, but let's say that we want to write something like um, best, best tool for the job. All right. So let's say we wanted to talk about something. What's a tool? Not like water slide tool, but something else like, okay, skincare, let's do that skincare. So you just copy it, paste it up here, and then we pick a number. So it's like the seven best effective, enjoyable, essential, essential is good. Seven essential tips to help you avoid something, avoid sunburn, no, avoid wrinkles. Let's avoid wrinkles. Um, so now we have the seven, oh, we don't need a, we don't need a year. So that's how quick it is to make a title. So you just click and pick and paste and you can change things like we could say hints or things, professionals, look, strategies, let's use strategies. So seven essential skincare strategies to help you avoid wrinkles. That's great. So let's customize that one. And now we'll go in and do the title topic settings. So we could do something like the seven essential skincare or our seven essential skincare, or let's just leave it the, the seven essential skincare strategies to help you avoid wrinkles. Great. So we won't put it on the content calendar this time, but we will assign a team member who's going to write it, which is really great. If you're not the writer, but you have somebody on your team or a freelancer um, that's going to write it for you, you can even email them so to let them know, you know, like freelancer um, at them.com um, to let somebody know what you want and where it's going to go, where you're going to promote it. Um, and you can also add your socials to your calendar. So you can put it on your blog or you can say you're going to promote it on Instagram or Facebook. Maybe you make a video, maybe you tweet about it, put it on Pinterest. That's okay. So we have our trackers, our socials, our email. So we just save it. Um, but we haven't added it to the content calendar yet. So it's not going to show up on our coming up next list yet. It's going to be in our idea vault. This is a really no stress way of planning your content. You can just have it without a date and just pick and choose and use it as you want. Um, but let's actually put a date on it so that we can see how we can fill these couple of weeks. So let's maybe put it on the 13th. So we'll add the date there, then we'll save our settings. Um, and every time I send it, it's going to send an email to that freelancer. All right. So now you can see the seven essential skincare strategies on the 13th. And now we need a couple of more ideas. So let's go in and instead of using the idea generator this time, let's browse the library because let's say totally tubular water park has a new feature. Like they're going to host 
weddings, like water park weddings. Um, so maybe they do a behind the scenes or um, a news or announcements, letting people know that it's a creative, fun thing. These are all the categories. There are 16 different categories of title topics that you can um, browse. Let's call it a helpful idea. So here are all of the helpful ideas that are showing up for Totally Tubular Water Park. And oh, look, there are the water park weddings. I'm going to copy that. So we could do reasons you need to have a water park wedding or cheat sheets or let's do a guide. So it's the same thing. You click and pick. It's a beginner's guide to, and I already copied it, but you know, you could copy it from here or you could type it in water park weddings at totally tubular water park so the beginner's guide to water park weddings at totally tubular water park that's good well maybe we'll change it and do fast and easy or let, no let's do super simple guide the super simple guide to water park weddings at totally tubular water park all right so i think that's good we can leave it just as it is we'll add it to the content calendar we know we needed something the second week that um, you could see this is the one we just did so now we'll put it like over here we'll assign it to Tyler we'll give it some socials and you can see here that our goal tracker is on but it hasn't been set that's because we didn't come from the idea generator so now we can set it to be whatever we want so if we're gonna have water park weddings we want people to book the wedding right that's what our call to action is gonna be to book or buy and these could be new customers, but they're probably more like super fans because I don't know why somebody would have a water park wedding unless they actually really liked water parks. Um, and that would be for sales and promotion. So now that we have it on our content calendar, we can actually add a little deadline buddy. And deadline buddy is really cool because you can actually get text or email reminders to let you know two days before or one day before on the day of that you have some content that's totally tubularwaterpark.com um, that's due. So you'll get a little message two days before, one day before, on the day of. If you miss the deadline, it'll remind you, hey, you missed it. Um, and then you'll be sure to post consistently to like your blog or Instagram, wherever you're, you're no, they wouldn't do that. Um, wherever you're gonna post about these water weddings. So let's save these settings. And now you can see we have the seven essential skincare. We have the super simple guide to water park weddings. Um, we can look at the content calendar and see these things that we just created. We could see Tommy has something coming up and there's a little deadline buddy for Tyler to remember to do all of these things. Uh, you could see all the information that we just set. So you can get a lot of information here, including the fact that we're still a little light. So maybe let's see if there's something else coming up this week or next week. So we'll go back to the dashboard and look for today. Today is actually submarine day. Perfect. An eight track day. Oh, that's perfect for an 80s day. I mean, you could have all of these things. You could have a barbershop quartet at a water park. Let's do eight track tape day. That's pretty cool. How we're celebrating eight track tape day at Totally Tubular Water Park. We could do it's almost eight track tape day, or we could say, you know, like join us for eight track tape day, or let's just say come celebrate, come celebrate eight track tape day at Totally Tubular Water Park. But you know, actually we just used Totally Tubular Water Park before. So let's say at an 80s themed water park. Um, let's just say, celebrate eight track tape day at a now let's do it at a super awesome 80s themed water park okay that's fun let's assign that to tabitha we'll add it to our socials we won't worry about the gold trackers because it'll just be like a little promotion so we'll maybe we'll just put it on instagram and facebook and we'll save those settings let's see what else there is so we'll go into it's a date and remember I told you there were those four ways that you could get ideas. The It's a Date calendar is full of, I think it's over 3,000 now. We've got all kinds of stuff and this is the day we're on. So we saw eight track tape day and submarine day. Maybe we should do that, but we already have one for today. Um, dolphin day, that's perfect. All right, so how we're celebrating, we already have celebrating. So let's do something else. 
Um, maybe we do something like, do you know there's a dolphin day? Or have you heard about dolphin day? Or, or what about, are you, are you ready? Are you ready for dolphin day? Totally too. That's, that's good. Let's do that one. But maybe, are you ready to jump into, into one word or two? In, oh, I'm terrible at grammar. Okay, and we leave the date. We assign it to somebody because Trinity is going to do the socials. Um, we don't need the goal trackers because it's just for the socials. So we'll just put it on the date specific stuff. I guess we could tweet it too, sure. Um, all right, so now we've come up with the idea and we've put it on our calendar or into our unscheduled vault. Um, the next thing that we're going to do is take one of these things, we'll do the water park wedding, and we're going to put it on our roadmap to develop the content, whether it's for socials or for blogs. So we go to super simple guide to water park weddings and we open the writing roadmap. So you can see all the stuff that we already set. Um, if we wanted to change it, we'd go in here and go to the settings, the who, the what, the why. So these are our goals. So you keep in mind your goals whenever you come back here to the writing roadmap. So your goal is to create this content for super fans. So after they see it, they're going to buy from you, which in turn helps your sales and promotions. Um, so there are six different steps in the writing roadmap. And if you're just going to do socials, you're going to want to just click the ninjas. So you're just going to want to do the start line or the finish line. So you click the ninja to start and you click the ninja to finish. So there are just two steps if you're going to do a social media post. If you're going to do a blog post, you end up doing all six steps. But let's start at the start line, which is where you would go regardless of whether it was a blog post or social media. This is super powerful because it's going to help you focus your content. So the first thing that you have to do is pick one to three core words that are specific to this content. So let's say it's water park wedding. Um, and then this brainstorming tool right here is one of the most powerful parts of all of this, believe it or not. It's four little questions, super quick, but super powerful because when you decide what you're going to write before you write, you end up hitting your target audience and your content ends up being more effective. So the first thing that you need to figure out is the topic. While water park wedding is what it's about, maybe we'll describe the water park wedding instead of um, just saying water park wedding again. So a unique event that friends and family will talk about for years. And then what's the customer outcome? What can the reader get from this content? They're going to get some simple tips on how to plan a memorable event. And then what's the challenge? What's something that the customer wants to fix? They want to have a water park wedding, um, but they aren't sure where to start. And then what's their business reason? Again, this goes to kind of the goal thing again, but what is it exactly that we want them to do? We want them to book their water park wedding or at least inquire about pricing or availability. Um, availability. All right. So now that we have those four things answered, and I won't go through every single prompt that we have, I just want to show you how easy it is to use this. And that one of the most powerful things that Blogging Ninja has is you're just answering a little prompt at a time. And before you know it, you've put together something by just answering questions. So like this, the brainstorm tool answers all come together from these four answers, and it makes a kind of hack together one liner that you can then go in and fine tune. So want to have a water park wedding, but aren't sure where to start? Question mark. Here are some simple tips on how to plan a memorable, oops, I forgot the event. Um, a memorable, unique event that friends and family will talk about for years. I don't think we need the call to action there though, so we'll use that later. So there's a little one-liner. This is the short summary, one or two lines, that's going to tempt the readers into clicking when they read this on socials. So want to have a water park wedding but aren't sure where to start? Here are some simple tips on how to plan a memorable, unique event that friends and family will talk about for years to come. 
and then we go on to the next page. So this brainstorm board has three pages, the content focus and one-liner, hashtags, and social media blurbs. Now the hashtags are good for your social media platforms. Um, this is really great because you can save your groups uh, and call them back again so you don't have to write them over and over again. Um, and we have all the statistics for them as well so you can know which ones you're using most, which ones you're missing. So events, wedding, Key West events, party ideas. So you get the picture. So here are the social media blurbs. So you take the content focus and you turned it into the one liner and now you're gonna add the hashtags and that creates your social media blurb. So you can use this as your metadata for your blog post. You could put it on Facebook, you could put it on Instagram because everybody's slightly different, right? So every, every social platform has their own personality. Like on Facebook, you might wanna have the first tip one and tip two and then to see the rest so whatever you would usually do on your socials you can write here and the great part is you can write it and then maybe somebody else on your team or a VA can post it for you because all they have to do is copy it and paste it um, or you know you're doing it in advance and you want to be reminded of it so you can always email and you can include notes and telling them what to do um, and then we're gonna finish and save all right, so that's the start line. And then again, if you're just gonna do the socials, now you go to the finish line and you can see everything that you created for your socials, you know, tip one, tip two, tip three, and your VA or your team member or you later, whatever, can copy it and then post it to whatever socials. Um, but let's go back to the writing roadmap and pretend that we're gonna put this on our blog. So we're not gonna just click the ninjas for socials, but we're gonna do all six pieces. So next we're gonna go to the keyword keeper. Now, the keyword keeper might be overkill for some people. It depends on how into SEO you are. But if you're into SEO, if you've paid for a coach or service, we give you a place where you can keep track of all of your keywords. So these are the words that you use over and over and over again for your business as a whole, not necessarily per post. But for the water park, you know, we're gonna use kids' birthday party ideas a lot, or we're gonna use Key West because that's the location. So we're gonna use that a lot. And you can see the value of it. And we give you spaces to keep track of everything. If you're not that into keywords, don't worry about it. You can just add your keywords here or not keep track of them. It's just whatever you're most comfortable with. But here are all of the keywords that we use the most frequently for our little fictitious water park. So let's say we'd have fun wedding ideas and Key West and party ideas and we would add that destination wedding. Um, and then we just assign the keyword to add to our water park wedding. So you can see our content focus is water park wedding and our keywords are here. And then we're gonna go on to step three, the outline organizer. So this is the outline organizer for the water park weddings and it's a five page brainstorm board. You can see our keywords here and our core phrase. We can do things like set a target length. So if we're going to outsource it, we'll have a, a target length that we want them to hit. And I'll just make this in fast forward so you don't have to look at it all. So this is the intro. It's basically the first few lines or a paragraph that you're gonna write. And you wanna make sure that you incorporate all of your core words and your keywords for your business and any other specific keywords that you have for this blog post. So we wanna make sure we have destination wedding, fun wedding ideas, water park wedding, Key West, we wanna make sure we have everything in there. Um, and then when we're done with the intro, we go on to the body or the middle. Uh, usually you have three sections for the body, but you can have as many as you want. For this one, we'll have like six or seven tips about weddings. So the outline organizer breaks down full length content into tiny little bite sized pieces. And by just concentrating on each individual part, it frees your creative mind so that you can embrace the whole process and just assemble a rough draft really fast. So you can use it two ways. You can either just create a brief outline where you just jot down some ideas or notes on what you'd like to write, or you can create a whole first draft. So you can use each section and actually write out most of your article by just filling in each field with the complete thoughts and paragraphs. Um, I personally like to use it just to get my ideas down. So instead of writing fully formed ideas, I just kind of write notes on what I wanna write. 
the choice is totally yours. You can use it either way. And then when you're done with that, we go to the next page. And then after we've done the introduction and the middle, you go to the end. And then we have to remember what our call to action is. We want them to buy, so we want them to book. So ready to dive in? Save the date. Call to check availability and mention this post. Get a free gift or something <laughs> like that. All right, so now we go, and oh, over here, if you close the board at any time, like a customer comes in and you have to stop, close the board, you can come back and pick it up right where you left off. So it's really easy to use Blogging Ninja in amongst your day because you're only answering one little prompt at a time. So now that the outline is done, you could say that it's done, you like it, do you wanna share it, you're ready to share it with your team or your freelancer. We finish and save. We can see that it's outlined and it's been marked done and it's ready to be written. So now we can go to the writing window. You can see the entire outline over here and it shows up in your writing window and you can actually write it right in here. You can copy it all and put it right on your blog. You can write it in Word or online or wherever you want. But if you write it in here, then you can email it directly to your people or you can have your notes and you can have versions. So, you know, you can have approvals and whatnot. Um, but let's just say that that's written for now because this is getting really long. <laughs> um, and then we have our honest optimizer. This is a really cool feature because it helps you get your content found. So over here in the writing window, you can see your post. It would be a lot longer if I had actually written it. And over here, you can see a few things in the basic view, or we have a full detailed list of everything that you could do to get your content found. So it gives you all these little hints, like include your, your keyword or your focus word and your title in the first paragraph. Um, we won't go through all of these right now because they're pretty straightforward. So we've done the start line, the keyword, we've done all five steps, and now we're gonna go to the finish line. You can see everything you need here to post to your socials. So you have all of your blurbs, and then you have an outline, which you can print, or you can copy, or you can email it. Um, we have two different versions of it. And we have the writing, the actual post. Um, so you can print it, you can email it to yourself, you can email it to your blog. So then this is the final steps. So you wanna make sure that you can keep track of what goes where, because sometimes you do one on one day and you forget, oh, I didn't put it on Facebook yet. Just a basic checklist to help you remember where you put everything. And then once it's done, you click published. If you wanna put the link to the post, you can put it there and then you save the settings and then woohoo, you're done. Um, and then it goes off your coming up next list and it goes on your content calendar to being done. Yay, you get the little check mark. And you can see everything in here. You just click and you can see that we outlined it, we wrote it, we keyworded it, we optimized it, we published it. We can load the roadmap from here so we could see all of our progress and it's been published and that's pretty much it. So again, there's a lot more. Um, if you look over here, there's a lot more stuff that we didn't go into. We have an asset tracker to help you um, keep track of your art and where it is and what you need to do. Your goals, we have a goal calendar so that you can look at a glance to see what has been done um, for sales this month, what's been done for branding, what's been done for sharing information and news. There's just a ton of stuff. So if you're interested in taking a look at Blogging Ninja, I encourage you to try out our 30-day trial. It's totally free. You get absolutely everything, every feature. Before you know it, you'll be brainstorming and planning and mapping your way to being a Blogging Ninja. Thanks for watching.